steel rods and cement blocks that once supported solar panels stand like tombstones in Indrapur, a remote village on one of the last islands of the Indian Sundarbans before the Bay of Bengal begins. This was the site of one of the largest off-grid power plants in India, commissioned in 2003. It once powered homes and the local market before it went defunct in 2013-14, even before the area was powered by grid-connected electricity. Solar microgrids are small electricity networks that generate and supply solar power to the local population. More than two dozen microgrids powered some of Sundarban's islands and its localities, even before the arrival of grid-connected power about a decade ago. Only a couple remain functional at present, alleged residents. The defunct solar plants across Sundarban symbolize the challenges to provide cheap and clean sources of electricity. In Mosuni, another remote island at the mouth of the sea, two microgrid projects were set up in the early 2000s. Both of them went defunct over a decade later. in the neighboring Sagar Island, vulnerable to coastal erosion and cyclones, none of the 11 solar microgrids operate, according to legislator and Sundarbans Development Minister Bankim Hazra. A lack of maintenance by the state electricity board, private companies or NGOs, the scene was similar in Gosaba. This defunct solar project in Raja Jubli, right next to Sundarban Tiger Reserve, is one of the five set up by WWF India in Sajalia. Four of them don't function anymore. The only one operating microgrid stands in Raja Jubli too. Either weather ta jodi kono kono kharaab hai, ta kono charge hai na jo kono ta kono either oshudha. Kintu sabse charging thake wo kajo hai. Aaj wo amader oshudha ghar ni kono gramer. To mere sabse upor the ponches ta kar pinu hai. Amra ekta shara din er shara din ra chobi chhota se shastra hai. Amra light ta pachi, fan pachi, aur phone ekono bichal samosa. Onekta bulu jor yar jor je samosa gote gulo. माने बीस किसी दिन कारण चिलो ना तो ताते हमरा शुद्ध वही फोन चार्जर जो ने बहुलो क्लाइन दिए हैं ना फोन चार्ज के जो मानुष गुलो जमान इलेक्ट्रिसिटी चाहे तेमनी सोलर टाव चाहे तेमनी भावे चोर चोर शुद्ध तो होते ना तो तमन किसी बीच तो ये तो पास्टा का भी ना तीन टाइप करे पढ़ते तवाटा तो क to put that power station together. Why? A year and a half to engage the community, make them understand, make them own the power station. Right? So that ownership, understanding the nitty gritty, that I can fix the problem myself. I am not dependent on somebody who will come from Kolkata and then fix my problem. All of that investment happened for a period of one and a half years. The last half year was actually used to construct In several islands of the Sundarbans, houses, schools, hospitals and government offices use personal solar systems to keep electricity expenses low. This practice has stayed on even after most of the islands got access to grid-connected electricity between 2012 and 2018. In this island, the current is not the Total area ta solar dependent silo. Karon power cut ta mangon jahoy, shei shomot amar solar bishkar madhi schoolya kono amar avar korsi. Solar khetre jeta bolbo, eta shotti ekta bhalo project jeta 
শুধু আমার আইল্যান্ডের জন্যই নয় আমি মনে করব সারা দেশের জন্য যদি সিস্টেমটা থাকে অল্টারনেটিভ হিসাবে কারেন্টের পরিবর্তে অল্টারনেটিভ হিসাবে যদি থাকে তাহলে মানুষ বোধ হয় অনেকটাই উপকৃত হবে সব দিক থেকে একদিকে অ্যাজ ওয়েল অ্যাজ অর্থনৈতিক দিক থেকে তার উপকৃত হবে অন্যদিকে তারা পরিবেশ দূষণ থেকে অনেকটা রেহাই পাবে মঙ্গা বে ইন্ডিয়া স্পোক টু গন চৌধুরী আ রিনিউয়েবল এনার্জি এক্সপার্ট ইনস্ট্রুমেন্টাল ইন ব্রিঙ্গিং সোলার মাইক্রোগ্রেডস টু সুন্দরবনস দি পাওয়ার কনভেনশন পাওয়ার ইজ ভেরি মানে আনরিলায়েবল ইয়া and so that you see the people they keep solar panel you know they keep their own solar power so you will find lot of solar power individual solar power systems are the rooftop solar rooftop solar they are all available and they are running nicely so people are happy with that because you see they they that is their own property they maintain it the systems are operating for 6 7 years very nicely then you know in uh, this microgrid you need to change the batteries and you need to change some components mm-hmm. so the wb data they didn't do that and the solar power plant owner wb data they thought uh, conventional grid has come why to maintain it so now uh, you see gradually there were uh, from 150 consumers they uh, it uh, came down to 50 then came down to 25 then now there is no consumer at all so the entire huge property the assets are lying idle and people are taking away all the panels and modules so uh, i think it's only due to policy you know these things are not functional it is not the scenario everywhere in the country africa at that time you know taking grid on those villages was not a right decision you know it was be- it would have been better if the grid and solar was combined together amit's huddles in running renewable energy projects goramara in sundarbans an island with no electricity supply is going to be home to the country's largest solar off-grid project the rapidly eroding island at the confluence of ganga and the bay of bengal is at the frontier of climate change and bringing a grid connection here would mean huge investments and risks karan to amader ghor mara nei o sura shakti battery ebong oi oi ta keu kena kata korche panchat theke onek bar diyeche सोलार <laughs> फैन पाम water pump and other things school can get fan and other thing computer uh, all these things from the uh, you know solar microgrid power plant which is being set up at kolamara island now the question that rings aloud how will it be maintained 